All right, you're cleared to intro. Okay. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another scene for Hong Kong House of Cards. It's the Changeling venue. I know I uh, haven't been doing a lot of uh, scenes for my players, but I've been too busy um, cleaning up minor inconveniences. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. <laughs> but, um, so here we are today uh, dealing with Bainu. He's been kind of down and out is a fair way to put it, Brett, since uh, Riker uh, got the axe quite literally. Yeah, it's quite an accurate assessment. Um, he hasn't been his cheery, happy-go-lucky self, uh, especially since he no longer lives in his own home. Uh, he's currently living in the apartment that uh, Ping Mai got for him and working in the job that Ping Mai had, was originally going to give him when he was going to leave the triad. Going to leave the triad. Or, well, the Tong. But, yeah. All right. Um, well, <clears throat> seeing as uh, schedules have been cleared for my NPCs, um, Bainu would receive a uh, formal uh, summons um, from King Darkness by whatever mean would be easiest not to disrupt his moral contacts. The last thing a messenger wants is to get his ass kicked trying to deliver a letter. Uh, the easiest way would be for the letter to be delivered to his home, to his girlfriend, and then he would receive it when he got there. So at that point, he will take the letter and he'll head to indulgences. I'm assuming that's where Dartmouth wants to meet. Yeah. Um, when you arrive, uh, Neros would be expecting you. He would... Uh, not the formal office that he usually meets at, but like a, sorry, uh, an office in the um, in the back of the club, like uh, an actual like VIP meeting room kind of thing. Uh, in the dreaming, it's formal, but it's not as elegant, regal, or super formal or superficial as uh, his office is in the dreaming, where it's obviously got this regal kind of courtroom layout and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Um, it's still very nice in the dreaming. Like, I mean, he, he's he's the king of of the the kingdom, and so even if it's less formal to most changelings, especially commoners, it's going to come off as affluent as shit. Okay. Um, one thing that Bainu would do, since he's been told to do this, is remove his gloves and leave them at the weapons check as he walks in. Um, when he's uh, led back into the room, uh, um, Sir uh, William will already be there, um, setting off to the side, more or less. He's uh, um, more or less, since he hasn't had much to do since the club has been, he's been working at, uh, since Riker's Club has been, is in the process of being converted. I don't know when that timetable is supposed to finish. I'll have to get with Julia on that. Um, that um, he's been working here at Indulgences and more or less being the attache to um, King on business that he needs to get done. Um, he'd offer uh, a seat to him uh, at a table that he already has. Bainu will sit down. He's actually not wearing his usual attire. He's wearing, um, looks like jeans and a flannel shirt over a wife beater. Uh, and he's actually wearing steel toed boots. <clears throat> He'll sit down and bow his head, of course, to Dartmouth. I, um,. Meant to speak with you sooner, but matters of importance in the kingdom have needed my intention, fortunately. I haven't seen you around, nor has any of my uh, I'm trying to think of a more polite word to say, uh, out of character. Uh, Subordinate? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Uh, I I wanted to make sure that you were okay and you understood 
the circumstances that led to the decision that had to come to pass. I am not of high enough rank from what I understand to question either you or Sir Flicker Flame's decisions in this. I do believe that my former adopted father was duped into the situation. Not, I will say that my decision had nothing to do with Sir Flicker Flame and what he wanted. I received information that this was not, at least at face value, at duping, but that it was his intent to cause harm, and that is why the decision came to pass. Surrendering or having the intent to surrender members of this court to banality is a grievous violation of the Ashit. I'm sure you understand. I'm still a little fuzzy on the Ashit, unfortunately. I know about the right to rescue and the right to safe, pa safe passage and the right to protection from banality and the right to dream. That's good. That is good. I know that you're relatively new here. Or well, not new here. You've lived in Hong Kong as far as I've known, but from my understanding, relatively newly awakened. It's not been even a year yet. Is that my understanding? Yes, that's correct. I was rescued in, was it October or November? Yes, it was October. October. I was rescued in October when, and he'll motion his hand, thumb over his shoulder, when he woke up and started screaming. Until then, I'd just been me. I think it's important <clears throat> that you still have someone who is able to guide you and help you understand our ways until you have reached the one year mark at which point that you will have your saning. I I am not exactly sure who would be best suited for this. Who are you most familiar with, with inside my kingdom? Well, I'm familiar with Sir Loin, with Harry, with Sir William. Uh, Baroness Desdemona, though I know she's really busy. Oh, and Dehi. Typically the people that fight, because I'm a strong fighter. That is good. We are, um, we are in times where a strong but wise warrior is much needed here. There are many enemies that dwell within our kingdom. I wouldn't say I'm wise. Uh, people tend to say I'm kind of dumb. But I am able to think further ahead of others. Having your wits about you is a good trait to have. Intelligence and wisdom on certain matters comes with time and age. I don't expect someone as young as you to inherently all of a sudden have a plethora of knowledge when it comes to handling matters. It would be very, it'd be very unscrupulous to do so. These things that you have to learn, they take time. And uh, to that endeavor, whoever you train with to hone your combat skills, I will leave that to your decision. But as far as matters of the court and behavior in changeling in Cathayne society, I would see it that Sir William would guide you on the ways of our people and our behavior. I have had, a pro had problems recently with interactions between our house and other houses. And I believe 
the diplomatic nature with which he carries himself will be most helpful. Not to say that you are not capable on your own of speaking carefully, but that it doesn't help to have, it, it helps to have guidance sometimes. Fine, you will not. Though he doesn't fight like I do, actually, I think I'm kind of unique in how I fight, and he looks at his hands. <clears throat> From what I understand, the rest of the warriors of this realm use weapons of reach and distance, where I use weapons of, well, punching things. <clears throat> As someone who has taken it upon myself because of my position to understand strategy, it is very fortuitous that you do. Even though you don't carry a shield, someone who, like yourself, that is more a close combat person who can prevent someone closing with someone's weapon and someone who can close in on someone else and give assistance to others with their weapons is a very helpful person to have. I've always tried to be tried to be helpful, King. Is there considering um, your adopted father's absence, any arrangements that need to be made for you? I'm currently working for the Hong Kong Triads as a dock worker. Uh, they have also provided me with an apartment to stay in for not only myself, but for my girlfriend and my little brother. Well, not my little brother, her little brother, but he's essentially my little brother. That is good. That is a yeah. certain area that most of us don't have contact with, but I would be careful and advise caution with mortal contacts. Well, their boss, Ping Mai, was trying to get me out of the Tong's hands long before I chrysalis, I think I was told it was called, and had to be rescued. Um, Riker said he was a dreamer, that he has brilliant dreams that are not only drew me to him, but drew him to me as well. I will have to send him my personal thanks then. Oh, you probably shouldn't. Um, because of what happened with Riker and because of one of the mages, uh, Ping Mai's gotten very paranoid about, uh, no offense, uh, Guelo's Supernaturals. Ping Mai was told a few things once Riker realized what he was. Would you be able to deliver it for me then? Yeah. He says that even though my skin is white, I am yellow on the inside. Very well. Um, trying to think of what would be uh, I suppose that that Dartmouth and Bainu would sit down later for an appropriate gift that could be given to him alright um, Bainu will express the triad overbosses admiration for weapons I will see that We'll see that um, one of the knockers under um, Baron Corbin will send him a finely crafted weapon of Chinese ancestry so as not to insult him greatly. That would be appreciated. And um, you can file that however you want to, Brett, since that's your NPC. No problem. I'll, I'll, uh, it'll... Basically, we'll, I'll blue book it later with, with under Bainu what happens there and what he comes back with. And they'll probably have some. Uh, I would like to think that it would be like a sword or something where the sheath is as in like some European language like English or like 
Celtic or something down the one side and then Chinese script down the other. So that way it's kind of like has this message of unity. Right. That, that'll that work. Um, and more than likely, Bainu will end up coming back with some kind of advanced firearm for Dartmouth. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> that'll be interesting. Hey, yeah. uh, hey, Eros, put it. I have a feeling this may be needed to put to use. Put it in the armory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At which point, um, after they've hashed that out, Banyu will look over to Sir William and then look back to King Dartmouth. So, the one thing I have to figure out, I was told there's something wrong with me. Oh, yeah. Apparently, people—well, not people, but members of the court—think that I'm odd because Magni doesn't talk. I tell them that he does. He whispers to me sometimes, and I told them that when I call upon the wild, that I go to sleep and he wakes up. But apparently he and I are supposed to be one and we're not. And apparently that's weird to people. That is true. I'm not sure what exactly caused that. Such well, things are not something I have personally experienced. Riker said that when I crystallized, my Magni was bound in cold iron chains and so was I. That's troubling. <clears throat> I'm not very well versed in. Are you still getting me, Brett? Yeah, I'm getting you. You're a little vibrato, but I can still get you. Okay. Hmm. I am not very versed in magics um, or what might be causing that. I will forward your condition to those that would know better. Okay. Well, if it does help, but we did actually find out that the tongues had all been co-opted by an infernalistic bitch known as Chloe. I thought we had gotten rid of them. No, this was before that we got rid of them. The reason why there's no tongs in the city is because they all got wiped out. But if yeah. the tongs had been under her control and they she had found out what I was going to be, she could have done that to me. Or had them do that to me without me knowing. Do you fear that you might be tainted in such a manner? I want to be the best me slash Magni that we can be. I will arrange for someone to check and make sure. It is better to be safe rather than later on find out that something has happened that is detrimental to you. I, I may have a firm grip, but it's only for the best interest of those that are under me. I do not wish harm upon the members of my court or those that make up my kingdom. Well, not his head. Um, I, there was somebody who said that I could be it could be psychological because of what had happened to me. I still have nightmares, and I'm told that that's why I had to sleep with just my girlfriend and her brother, and I couldn't be sleeping in other places where there were a lot of fae. Mm -hmm. 
that's troubling. Well, hopefully I'll be fixed. Hopefully. And hopefully a remedy to this disturbing problem will come to us in due time. He'll just nod his head. Can I ask you a question, though? Of course. If I and he ever do become one, does that mean I go away? No. It simply means that you are one and the same, the way it should be. A person has their changeling soul and their human soul, but they are bound to each other eternally. One more question. I don't want to bother you too much more. Is it is it possible that he can find my memories from from before the bad tasting medicine? That I'm not sure of. I don't believe so. But then again, our magics are powerful ones. It is possible that you could learn an art that would be able to help you recall. But I don't think that necessarily or inherently that he would know. He'll just, he'll nod his head at that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for answering my questions. Is there anything else that I can do for you, child? No, sir. I I want to get training as soon as possible. I work at the docks until mid-afternoon, and then I'm free to begin training again. I will make sure that... Um, Sir Loin is aware of it should you need it, any martial training. And of course, Sir William will be available to you for your more social and historical needs. No, not his head. It looks like he's sitting there waiting to be excused. And it, it'll be kind of a a, a silent kind of gesture. You know how you're, you're, you, you know, sometimes you're on a call with a call person and they don't like, they can't hang up on you. you you're the one who has to disconnect. So yeah. there'll be yeah. like a gesture that he has nothing more to say, but. Right. At that point, he'll stand up, he'll bow, he'll turn to Sir William and bow, and then without keeping, and then without turning his back to Dartmouth, he'll back out of the, he'll back out of the room, go grab his gloves, and then head off to his apartment. Awesome. All right, and uh, we'll go, go ahead and call a scene there. Uh, Sounds good. Thank you, players, for playing. We actually had a watcher, so thank you for watching. This has been another edition of Hong Kong House of Cards. And I just outroed a changeling scene with Sean in there, so sorry about that. Go ahead and do your outro. Oh, no, that's that's fine. You Go ahead and you, you got this. All right. Have a good night.